Mr. Biggs. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, sir, thank you for being here today. I'm over here, way over here. Thank you. Um, I, I don't know if you know anything about this, but on March 21st, myself and several of my colleagues sent a letter to, to uh, Director Ray um, with regard to uh, various issues. And uh, I'm wondering if you've come prepared to answer questions on his behalf since he's chosen not to answer our questions. Sir, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last part. I, I, have you come prepared today to answer your questions that uh, any of my colleagues, have, we, we've sent Director Ray three, three letters in the, within the last three weeks. Um, um, if it, you're I, referring to, the, just on my prep notes, I have a March 21st letter um, on the sensitive investigative matter audit. Is that the one you're Yes, are you prepared to answer questions on I that? I am not, sir. Okay. But you are aware of that? Will you, take, will you take back to Director Ray that we expect an answer soon? Yes, sir. Appreciate that. Last June, President Biden gave President Vlad Vladimir Putin a list of 16 critical infrastructure entities that are off limits to a Russian cyber attack. And then a week ago, President Biden warned that a cyber attack is coming and is imminent. The entities that he described in June were, were listed as critical infrastructure entities. According to CISA, 16 entities included commercial facilities, chemical communications, critical manufacturing, dams, energy defense, industrial base, emergency services, financial, food and agriculture, government facilities, healthcare and public health, information technology, nuclear reactor, reactors, materials and waste transportation systems, and water and wastewater systems. I think you're probably aware of, of that list that he provided because it was in your documentation as well. Um, so giving a list of entities that are off limit implies that all other entities are fair game for cyber attacks, or maybe it is that we haven't adequately protected other sectors, but as Former DNI Radcliffe suggested in, a, in a, a story that was included his comments about it was that you might actually accidentally be suggesting that we have vulnerabilities in these areas. Um, can you can you tell me what the president has done, what you, what he's directed you guys to do to protect these sectors um, or any other area? for that matter, from cybersecurity threats? Uh, sir, I'll do my best with your question. I mean, the president doesn't tell us anything, what we should or shouldn't do. What we've agreed upon internally within the FBI and our interagency partners and the interagency partners that um, I think are notable are Cyber hey, Command. Hold on, before you get there, it just, it just occurs to me that if he doesn't tell you anything to do, were you, did you know that he was going to give that list of uh, sensitive sectors to Vladimir Putin? No, sir, I did not. Did anybody on your team know? Um, I, d I don't know that answer. So there was no communication, uh, no briefing from the White House that he was going to share that list of vulnerabilities? Um, not, sir, not that made it to me. Okay. Okay, and so if you can give me a, a brief response then, previously, as you were, as you were giving. Sure. When we look at our, our primary interagency partners, you know, state, treasury, you know, the folks at the fort, CIA, et cetera, we all have a very, very good working plan related to the current threat streams about what our priority goals are. And so there is extremely strong operational coordination based on strategic and tactical intelligence that I think if any of them were sitting here today in front of you, separate from me, that would speak with confidence about what we're prioritizing. And those, and those 16 areas that, that uh, President uh, Biden listed off to Vladimir Putin, um, have, has there been cyber security attacks or breaches in any of those 16 areas since he's uh, uh, given those that list to, to Putin? Sir, I don't know the answer to your question. I apologize. I can uh, certainly take that back and get that answered for you. I just don't know in this moment. Okay. I, I wish you would let us know. And then, and then also, if you can identify, since you don't know that, you probably can't answer the next question, which was, uh, have any of those come from Russia? And so if you can identify the, the, whether they're national actors or uh, um, other actors, if you can identify where those threats have come from and those attacks have come from. Are you aware of any other cyber attacks to any other entities outside the 16 uh, sensitive areas that the, the president listed and gave to Vladimir Putin? Yes, sir. Can you describe those, please? Um, well... Just off the top of my head, um, you know, certainly we have software companies that have been targeted. Um, I'm just trying to go through my head over the past couple of weeks. 
we certainly have uh, there. Are, sir, as I'm working through this in my head in real time, there are compromises um, against some of those 16 critical infrastructure sectors that you mentioned. I can't speak specifically to which ones. And, and you can you can the provide that to the gentleman has expired. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, um, can I just? Uh, I've got some submissions for the record. Mr. Yes. Thank you. Um, uh, an article dated September 29th said the U.S. deports high-profile hacker to Russia before a prison sentence ends. Um, a series of CISA articles and uh, notifications and memos. Um, as well as uh, a piece uh, by Leah Barkos entitled, Biden actually gave Putin a list of critical infrastructure not to carry out cyber attacks on, in the U.S. Uh, another piece entitled, Ratcliffe says Biden, Biden handed Putin, Putin the wrong list. It should have been a list of our targets in Russia. Another one uh, on the Sun from June 18, 2021. Biden gave Putin green light to cyber attack U.S. when he listed 16 off-limit targets, experts say. Another one says, uh, entitled, Biden's off-limits list for Russian cyber attacks criticized as green light to target everything else. Uh, another piece entitled, Russia may target U.S. businesses with cyber attacks, Biden warns. Another Another piece entitled, Biden warns Russian cyber attacks are coming. Another, the official statement by the White House and then a series of memos from, uh, that are joint cyber security Without advisors. objection to everything you, you submitted. Okay, got a whole bunch more. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Without objection, uh, Mr. C Mr. Johnson. 